Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David, I'm your host. Today we're going to be dealing with title blocks. Um, so the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you to open your drawing. So click on your drawing, whatever you're working on. I'm work I've got one open already, floor plan one. I'm going to click that. And you're going to see I have my title block here. What I'm going to do is we're going to want to draw this. So just draw a regular box. Um, and when you have this just rectangle, something kind of like this, something where you can type in things, and, and you're just going to draw a box, so I'll show you how to do it. So, what you do is, or you can get the rectangle tool too. Just click in the corner, make a rectangle, boom. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to offset, so you get a another little, um, a little box here, and you're just going to want to bring it to wherever you need it. So I'm just going to do mine at about, eh, let's see, let's do a foot. So I've got a foot there. So I've offset a foot, I've got this little thing kind of like the bottom one down here uh, and the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make the actual title block portion of our title block um, so what you can do is you can just get a get a line get a polyline get uh, pretty much whatever you want now we're just going to extend it you know and and we're going to make a little side there so it kind of adds up with that one so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to type go here offset through just click enter and then select where you want it to go. So for me, I'm just going to put it, let's do, let's do a foot again. So it's, it's uh, flush all the way around. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to trim this out. So it looks a little, a little better. And I'm going to trim the bottom one out as well. Uh, one thing to note is you don't have to do all this. Um, you can make it as simple as you want. You can make it just lines. Uh, I'm just doing it a little complex because um, that's something I like to do. So once you do that, you know, um, there's different sections in a title block. Uh, so as you can see down here, like I have the name of my firm, um, you know, the practice of the drawing, the scale. So the scale is how big it's going to be in your, in your title block. We'll get into that in a bit. Uh, but uh, this is really important to get. And then you also want to make sure that your scale adds up when you're doing the layouts. Again, we'll get into that in a bit. And then you're going to have a title. You're going to have drawn by, revisions, whatever else you want. You can also add in um, more information like which drawing type it is or, um, you know, what drawing it is. Like, is it the roof? Is it the side of the building or elevations or whatever? Um, and, and it's really up to you. So for this one, we're just going to do the name of the firm, the title, the scale. Uh, if you're in a class and you're trying to figure out, okay, well, how do I do this? Well, just add in your class's information. Um, again, just make sure that your, your title block's scale is appropriate to what you're doing. Uh, you know, like right here, I'm just drawing a box, but you can kind of make it work wherever you put it in the layout. So just draw a box, do something like this, uh, and then, you know, put in, do what I did before. So, you know, get, get your, um, get your line out, you know, figure out where you want your lines. Again, unless you have spe specific specifications for this, you don't really have to worry about this, you know, go and offset and then, you know, click there and put it up or whatever. And then, um, you know, go and trim everything. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save some time and just continue on the video because I want this to be a shorter video. But you get the picture. Just like add your sections again. It can be one line. It can be two lines. So like if you if you don't want this, if you just want one line, you can do that. It it doesn't matter. It's all up to what you need and what your teacher or whoever you whatever you're doing for requires. If you're working, um, again use specifications that you get at work. Um, so I'm just gonna use this little one that I've got here. This is just a basic one. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do, what we're going to do next. So once you have your title block done, um, I like to turn it into a block. Uh, so what you're going to see here is, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select your entire thing. I'm going to actually select the upper one. Select the entire thing and then type in block. Once you have that, press enter and then name your block. So you can call this title block. I'm going to call it title block text test two because I've already got one uh, and then we're going to click OK. And that should make a block for a title block. There are going to be a few issues you're going to have when you do um, do this, uh, but uh, you, can, you can easily resolve that. So what we're going to do now is once you have this blocked, once you have it created, um, again, feel free to pause the video, make your own. Uh, if you need any specific help, um, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you. Uh, send us a message or an email or whatever, and uh, we'll help you with that. Um, but uh, to continue on, go to Layout tab, and you'll have something kind of like this without this side part here. Um, there's actually another way you can do title blocks that I learned. As you can see, this is just a um, more clean version of what I just made you. 
um, but I, I actually have what I need in layout too. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to go zoom in on my drawing for a minute, uh, and then I'm going to go out, and you're going to see that the I have the block here. So I, it's all highlighted, but I've got my title block right here. It's completely surrounding the drawing. If I go back to layout 2, I don't have that. I only have the thing on the side. So another thing you can do is you can draw your title block inside of this space. Um, so like, you know, it's it's very simple. This is how I used to do it when I was in school. I was taught how to do it. Just do one line and, and do that. That's one way to do it. Um, but the other way to do it is to bring in your block and then put it in here and, and fix it. So what you can do here is click insert, go to title block, I'll do test two, and then I'm going to insert it. And you might have to zoom out a little bit because it will show up, and there it is. So it's right above here. I'm going to want to move that down. So we're going to bring it down. I'm going to get rid of my other title block, and I'm going to show you how to deal with some of the issues you're going to you're going to have with this. So I'm not going to get rid of this completely because I want to put it there when I'm done. So I'm just going to move that out of the way, put that there. And then with my big one, it's like, well, what do I do? Well, we're just going to scale it. So click on the corner, scale it. And we're going to try and get it into place where it needs to go. So we're going to go here. Okay. So we've got my title block. I'm just going to line it up there for a minute. And then you're going to want to make sure you put a corner in a corner. It's very important to do. So we're putting the corner in the corner. We're going to grab this and we're going to scale it again. So one thing you're going to have is, I, I know there's there's other people who have made videos on this, but uh, issues will arise when you're trying to scale it and it's not going to it's not going to work. So like you're seeing here, it's it's snapping onto my drawing. It's it's just creating an absolute nightmare for me. But that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to do that. And then you're like, okay, well, this is over here. So we're going to do stretch. And I'm going to show you one of the issues is, you know, if you stretch it, it's just going to move the entire thing all the way down. Like, that's absolutely insane. So one thing you can do is when you're doing this is you can click on your block and you can click then edit. And you'll be able to edit the block that you're dealing with. So we're going to go here and we can actually shrink it. Um, if you've never seen this space before, uh, that's okay. Um, so what we're going to do is, this is again one way to do it, is you can edit it in the edit tool. Um, all you have to do is move everything over. I'm not going to go over that. I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. Um, so I'm just going to close the block editor. Yeah, I'm going to save changes. Um, that's okay. Don't need to worry about that. So click this, and then I'm going to go to block. Once I'm in block, there is something called the... Oh, where is it? If I click on my block... and then click edit block in place. So right click on your block and click edit block in place. Click that, it'll open. Um, so what this does is it allows you to edit in place. So then click okay. And then right now your screen will turn white and you'll be able to edit it. So just grab all the, mach all the machines, all the things you have, and then we're gonna move them over. So we're gonna go, we're gonna click all we need. So I'm gonna click on these and then click move. I'm going to select a base point, I'm going to move it over, line it up where I want it, and then I'm just going to move things to where I need them. So that'll go there, that'll go there. This is a tedious way of doing it. Um, there, there, There is easier ways to do it, um, but uh, this is one of the main ways that a lot of people do do it. So I'm just going to put that where I need to put it, and I'm going to do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in ref close. So when you're editing the block like we just did, you're you're editing it in a different section of AutoCAD, I guess you could say. And what it does is it opens up a new tool that you need to close after you're done with it. If you don't close it, you're going to go back to model space and you're going to wonder, where is my title block? It's not here. And then your title block also won't appear in the insert tab. So what you're going to do is, when you're done editing it to where you need it to be, and this is only when you're done with that, you're going to type in ref close, press enter. And then you're going to click, there's going to be two options. There's going to be discard reference changes or save. You're going to click save. And then this will pop up. Don't worry about this. Just click OK. And then there you have it. Your title block has been saved and it's been adjusted to your paper size. Uh, I'm going to get into paper size in a minute. I'm going to tell you how to adjust that. So we're just going to make our drawing fit. We're going to zoom in. We're going to go, okay, well, what's the scale? We're going to go one, two, and then we're going to lock it. And then there you have it. Um, 
I'm going to show you what this looks like with the actual title block. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to move the other one over. Because this one looks way more professional than the other one does. Put that in and done. So you're going to see that, you know, everyone's title block is a little bit different. Um, everyone's going to have their own specifications. Every company is going to have their own ideas of what a title block is. Um, the way I do it is I used to just make title blocks in layout space. But the issue with that is, again, you can't just import one all the time and you have to make it all the time. Um, so this is a good way to do it where you can just make a block and you've got you've got a title block. Um, it's, it's very cost effective. It's very efficient. It's very quick. Um, so one thing that I would like to mention is when you are editing the title block is that you make sure you go to edit block in place and you don't go to block editor. Because what happened before is you go to block editor and like I said, you can do this this way. Um, you're going to edit the entire block in this editor um, and you don't see it in reference to things that are already on the drawing. So it can create issues for you. Uh, this doesn't just go for title blocks, this goes for other things. This creates issues for you when you're trying to scale things properly and you're trying to scale things to a, something on your drawing uh, and it's a block, you need to edit it. Um, what this does is if you could edit a block outside of the drawing, that's fine. But if you're trying to edit inside the drawing, I highly recommend you edit the block in place so that it's just easier for you to figure out. So I'm just going to close that. I'm going to save changes. doesn't matter. And then there you have it. You've got your title block and you've got your drawing scaled up. One thing to mention is you're going to want to make sure your scale is proper. You're going to want to make sure you zoomed in at the proper level. Everything's fine. Um, we're, we're going to just yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the video. Um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully this video was helpful. That was just a quick version of how to how to make a title block. Um, again, there's other ways of doing it, um, but uh, this is the main way that most people do it, and this is a good way to do it. Uh, one last thing, actually, to mention that I needed to mention is um, when you're doing different paper sizes, you're going to have to adjust your title block. If you're using the same paper size all the time, you can just make one title block, make it fit and then save the block and make sure, and it'll work all the time, just make sure you put it within the margins and everything will be okay. Um, but uh, when you're doing this, you're gonna wanna make sure that, you know, or when you're doing it, when you have multiple different size pages all the time, or you're like in a class and you don't know what to do and stuff doesn't save, um, then you're gonna wanna make sure you edit it and make sure it's within the margins at all times. So with that said, uh, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for supporting us. Um, if there's any, thing you want to watch if there's anything you need us to make a video about please don't hesitate to reach out uh, we'll do everything we can to help you out uh, and we'll make sure to post a video remember we post videos every week uh, we'll be starting into our civil 3d series very soon uh, that'll be happening probably in the next month we've got a few more videos for autocad to do um, you know our upload schedule again is once a week uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, thank you for helping us grow and don't forget to check out the website uh, until next time we'll see you then